All right, all right, all right. Welcome to Fix the First Tarot. Hello, 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 everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Aries, I am here to do your spiritual message. Um, hope you all are doing well. Uh, Aries, clock, clock, and whoever uh, may want to call this message. Hope you're doing well. And wish you much of luck. All right, Aries, without further ado, God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, and the angels, spirit, God, for the white light. Welcome, 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 Aries. The spiritual message is going to consist of ancestor messages, angel messages, uh, Jesus messages, and God messages, okay? So first, we're going to start off with your ancestor messages. Let's see what the ancestors have to say to you, Aries. All right, Aries, it says you must trust and thrive. Um, so some of y'all could have been doubting yourselves, like doubting that you are not going to uh, be able to um, like you are not going to be able to do what it is that you were uh, putting forth to do. What it's saying is that you must trust and thrive. Like So trust in yourself. Know that you definitely can do it. And also keep putting forth the effort uh, to whatever it is that you're trying to do. So this is a job situation. Um, you have been... Um, kind of doubting yourself about like getting a job or you should take the position, whatever the case may be, or you should start your own business, whatever it is. Um, it's saying trust that you are capable of doing what whatever it is that you want to do. Um, and keep on thriving, like whatever effort you have been putting in, don't stop because it's not looking like you want it to look. Uh, oh, look, look, guardian angel, you are not alone. And look, the song never would have made it is on by Marvin Stout. Never could have made it. Um, God is wanting you to know that he is with you. The angels are wanting you to know that they are with you as well. Your ancestors are letting you know that they are with you, Aries. And wherever it is that you want to go, whatever it is that you want to do, how it is that you're going to do it, they are with you, assisting you along the way. And it says, unlock the magic within. So some of y'all have, like, the, I'm hearing the gift of gab, but you're too scared are too afraid to unlock your magic, whatever that magic is. Like I say, where I gave you an example of a job, but like if this is a relationship, like you all have what it takes to be in this relationship. You just have to trust that all your efforts are paying off and continue to put forth the effort. And like I said, made it through my storm and my test, and you were there to carry me through my mess. So God is wanting you to know that he is with you every step of the way. Um, and with that, you're going to become stronger and wiser once you continue to thrive at um, at this. Once you trust yourself, that's when the thriving is going to come in. Okay? Um, because it says that what I'm hearing is that you've already, like, strive. Now it's time for you to thrive. So that's basically, like, seeing the fruits of your labor. You're at that point now, Aries. So like I was saying, if this was a relationship, you, you've done everything for this relationship. You have what it takes to be in this relationship. You just have to maintain this relationship, maintain that employment, maintain that relationship with your kids, maintain the relationship with your family. You know, if that's what you're praying and asking God about. Yeah, it's an exchange in energy to create abundance. So some of y'all, y'all not, um, it's like y'all wanting, what I'm getting is that like y'all wanting stuff to happen. Like if this is a job, are you becoming an entrepreneur? You have the, the gift for whatever this is, but you're not, um, what is it? Networking. You know, letting people know that, hey, I can make candles. Hey, I do hair. Hey, I um, I sell incense. You know, whatever the case may be. 
you're not telling people, you're just expecting people to know because they see like the incense burning in your picture or, you know, you didn't, you gave one person, uh, a family member or somebody who said that that person said something. So what it's saying is that you need to exchange energy, like start networking yourself or like go to somebody else's business and, uh, patronize or you know like do business with somebody else like go to the, the local coffee shop and say hey you know look um i see you know y'all sell these types of things what about you know i have cameras to sell and you know start exchanging uh energy with people and then it's gonna they're gonna exchange their energy and that's good energy and then you can create what it is that you're trying to create there and then it says enjoy growth and reap rewards once you do that that's when you're going to reap your rewards because whatever it is that you have, it's fertile. It's fertile and it's ready to come out. If this is a relationship, it is ready. If you are interested in somebody, you need to let this person know and don't expect for this person just to catch on to little subtle hints. Let this person know and say, God is using you. All right. So. Let's see. Angel messages. What do the angels want to say to Aries? Listen to your intuition. Yeah, your intuition is telling you everything that you need to know. You just need to listen to it and follow it. Yeah, because look, you have helpful people around you that's willing and wanting to help you. Um, I think you're doubting that people would help you around you, uh, Aries. But yes, they are willing and, and able to help you. So just look for a sign. And again, it says that again, ask help from others and you will see big, happy changes and your situation will improve. All right, Aries. Wow. God is only using you. All right, so let's see what does Jesus messages. What are Jesus messages for you, Aries? You are the light of the world. Yeah, whatever this is that you're uh, believing God for, and you have been putting forth the work and effort towards this, it is something that is going to radiate, and it's going to. It's something that's very healing, whatever it is. And it could be a baby that's uh, coming. It's, 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 this is something new that you're birthing. Um, but it's, it's coming and everybody's going to know about it. Everybody's going to know about it and be happy about it. Yeah, it says, take therefore no thought of morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. So stop dwelling on what happened yesterday or what's going to happen in the future think about what's presently happening happening and right now you have the gift of gab is what i'm hearing so you need to use it you need to use it and stay prayerful and it says anything that you act in prayer and believe you shall receive okay be not afraid and only believe have faith in god Look, it says it again. Whatsoever you ask in my name and believe and pray, you shall get it. All right. Let's see God messages for you, Aries. And then I'm going to end your reading. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, guys. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. Follow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God is using you, uh, Aries. All right. So whatever you're going through, you must know that God is with you throughout whatever this is that you're going through. All right. It says, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. So know that every day that is given to you, that this is a day, I mean, it's a blessing to wake up in the morning. And that, that in itself is a blessing to wake up in the morning. So if God is blessing you with a, a, a day to be alive, take that day and 
show appreciation to him by using the gifts that he's given you or being in this divine connection that he has set out for you to be in uh, Aries. It says, when I think of love, I think of you. So some of y'all, this is a love situation and you have it. You have it. You just, you just have to do it. All right. And then it says, every time I think of, think of you, I give thanks to my God. So yeah, like I'm saying that I really feel like, uh, for majority of you all, this is a love situation and Whenever you step out of your comfort zone and you actually go to this person and let them know Aries or somebody's going to do this to you, you're going is like this person is going to be so thankful that they came across you. Or you're going to be so thankful that you told this person and express yourself to this person what it is that you're seeking from them. Because believe it or not, this person wants the same thing. And this is a God, 1111, this is a God-given connection. It says you are beautiful in God's eyes. So God just wants to let you know that you are beautiful in his eyes and that whatever it is that you're working for, he's with you and he thinks that it's beautiful, Aries. All right, Aries, I'm going to end your spiritual message. You guys be blessed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, share, all that good stuff. Again, Aries, I thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope you all had a blessed Thanksgiving. Be blessed, Aries.